In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install WordPress site on a paid hosting server. And believe me, after watching this video, you will not going to ask for any help from others, and you will be able to do this own installation on your own. Believe me, it is that simple. To set up your own site, we need few things that you need to be done before everything. Number one, a domain. You must have a domain to set up your own hosting WordPress sites. Second thing, you may need a hosting account. Better if you have a paid hosting account. There are so many good hosting uh, companies which you can use to make your own site. And uh, but make sure you have the access to the control panel because this is the place, control panel, where you are going to transfer your files and adding your domain and etc etc if you want to learn how to register a domain and how to set it up in your hosting account you can watch my other video tutorials in this tutorial i assume that you already have set up your domain and you have the access to the file path where you are going to install your wordpress site first of all you need to download the wordpress the latest version from the WordPress website and uh, have it it on your hard drive. Next thing you need to is roll. Next thing you need to upload this WordPress to your hosting account and for this you need to go to your control panel and look for file manager option. Yes, here it is. And from here you need to go to your file manager. Once you are in file manager folder, you need to select public html, yeah that's a public html and this will open your folders where you can transfer your files from your computer to your hosting accounts where your site is going to be received. Now once you are in the public html folder, you need to look for the folder where you set up while creating and setting your domain. Now under this folder, you need to come under this folder by clicking on it from here like I am doing in this video. Once you are under this folder, you need to upload the WordPress files we just have downloaded from the wordpress.org. To upload those files, you need to go to upload option here. This will open in a new window now select browse and you need to browse the location where the downloaded file of wordpress is located select that and start upload wait a minute or two to complete the downloading process then you need to go back by clicking here and now you can see that a zip file is located in the folder you need to extract this file by selecting it and clicking the extract option here close this now as you can see this a new folder has appeared named as wordpress and you need to go to this folder now double click to open all the files yes now select all the files you can press this select all option now you need to move all these files to your main domain folder right now these files are under the wordpress folder you need to copy or move these files to the main folder where your site is going to be located for moving all these files you can select the options move and just delete the wordpress folder name from here and press ok it will ask you to delete the folder say no and press ok now all the files are moved to the main folder once this is done your file transferring process is completed now you can move to step 2 now you need to configure and install your path now you just need to type in the domain name in the address bar or google chrome or in firefox as you like and this uh, when you press enter you must see this 
page and if you are not seeing this page there is some problem with your installation of sorry uploading of and transferring of the files into the right folder go back and check where and if you are not seeing this page there is some problem with your installation of sorry uploading of and transferring of the files into the right folder go back and check where the files are correctly transferred in the folder where this domain is actually linked to the folder in your control panel if this you are seeing this page that means everything is correctly done so far and you have covered 50 percent of the total process of creating a wordpress site after this you need to press here configure or install uh, now when you press this configure you need you will see a new page where you need to supply the database username database password and username and table prefix by default table prefix for the wordpress site is wp underscore you can change it but it is advisable to keep the alphabets only two or three characters now you can press go and if you see this message everything is done correctly not there is some misconfiguration between the username or the mysql data which you created if you haven't created the mysql data earlier then you need to do this first before you complete the process of installing the wordpress site if you haven't uh, done or don't know how to create a mysql database for your wordpress site you can watch my tutorial a uh, link uh, is in the video itself just press it to learn how to create uh, a sql database for the wordpress site well once you see the successful message then you need to supply the essential details for setting up your WordPress site like title, admin username and password, whether you want to allow Google to index your pages in search engines, you can check this box. And if you don't want to want Google to index all your pages, then just uncheck you can do this again from your admin control panel of WordPress site. Now press finish now once you have finished all the settings you can access your wordpress admin site by supplying the admin username and password you just have created in the previous section previous page so that's all you have successfully installed your wordpress site